In this video I'm going to be showing you how to clean your air fryer, so let's get started. I'm going to be showing you how I clean my Gourmet air fryer. I'm going to flip it upside down. And first I'm going to show you the base just to show you that there are a lot of wires in here. Obviously it's an electrical appliance. In the coil area you'll see that there's a hole towards the back here. So you want to prevent any large amounts of water going in there, otherwise you're going to ruin the air fryer. So, so first I'm going to start with Dawn Power Wash and I'll be honest with you, it didn't really work for me. Taking my brush and giving it a good scrub, if I just wipe it clean and show you here, you can see that it hasn't cleaned it very well. But what I did find worked for me was this Vim cream. You may know it as SIF or JIF, uh, depending on where you are. And you only need a very small amount. And then I'm going to take my brush again and I'm just going to scrub using my brush. I've used a very small amount of water just to get the cream form up a little bit. So don't risk ruining your air fryer by adding too much water in there. Again, just test one small area to see if it's actually working because you don't want to spend 15-20 minutes cleaning only to find that it didn't work. So if I show you here, you can see that it's cleaned it much better. So I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to start scrubbing everywhere, but uh, it's very hard for me to get under the coil area with this brush. So then I found my long bottle brush and it has a flexible neck so I can get the brush to go underneath the heating element and also curve around the corners here and it's doing a really good job just getting in there and scrubbing it all. Just be careful not to damage the, the fan underneath the heating mm. element that you can see there. And give it all a good wipe and look at that beautiful, nice and clean. And if I show you the before and after picture here, you can definitely see the difference. And I've used my air fryer every day, probably two, three times a day for the last four months. Um, and this is the first time that I'm cleaning it. But you'll never get it back to brand new condition, but this is definitely looking much, much better than it was. Once you've cleaned it all and wiped it all using a damp cloth, make sure to wipe away all the soap. It's a good idea to run the air fryer on air fry mode 400 degrees for 20 minutes. And this will kind of bring out all of that soap residue that may be left on there. And if I just show you here, after running it, once it's cooled down, flip it back over and I'm just going to show you, you can see that there's a little bit of soap residue on there. So I'm just going to wipe all of this away again with a damp cloth only. And that's your heating element all cleaned. Another important area is the crisper tray has these four silicone tabs. If you just remove them, you'll see that there's a lot of grease underneath there that this might be forgotten sometimes. So try to remember to remove all four tabs and give them all a good clean and then pop them back on. You want to keep them on because this prevents the crisper tray from scratching the basket. Moving on to cleaning the basket and the crisper tray. First of all, I want to mention that I do not use any foils or any liners or anything in my air fryer. I believe that it defeats the purpose of using the air fryer. It blocks the heat from circulating and just takes the food longer to cook. I would rather cook my food faster and spend a few minutes washing the basket. And I cook a lot of greasy food and I will leave links to videos if you haven't already seen them. Uh, I don't like using them, it's totally up to you if that's what you want to do but this Gourmet air fryer is so easy to clean and wash that you really don't need to use it. I'm just going to show you how easy it is to clean the crisper tray and the basket by hand if you don't have a dishwasher. I'm not using anything special here, just hot water and uh, regular Dawn dish soap. And just take a scrubbing brush to it first to get rid of all the stuck on pieces. But the bristles on the scrubber is really good to get into the holes and into the grooves and the crevices on the tray. So it's a good idea to use that and then you can always use a, a non-abrasive sponge to just to give it a good wipe over. And you can see just how well it's cleaned it. And the same with the basket as well. Using the uh, brush first, the scrubbing brush first, you can just scrub away all the dirt and then use your sponge to wash it. I have seen some really concerning videos, TikTok videos, about people boiling water in the air fryer. Please, 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 whatever you do, don't do that. It's a hazard just waiting to happen. 
the book specifically says do not add any liquid to the air fryer it's not for cooking any liquid foods so please don't do that you're just gonna ruin your air fryer What you can do and what I also like to do is I add some boiling water to the basket. Just let that sit in the air fryer with the air fryer turned off. Unplug the air fryer before you start cleaning and the hot water will create the steam onto the heating element. That should make it easy for you to wipe away some of the grease. All right guys, I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, comments or any of your own cleaning tips that you wanna share, please do so in the comments. Hope to catch you in my next video.